you know what? I'm actually happy that I got that phone call because it means that I need to edit the video in, in iMovie and this video is worth me putting my intro into. Uh, okay, so let me, let me get back where I left off. Um, investing into myself. I feel great in this. I honestly, I'm going to be real, guys. Like, from not having money to having, like, a little bit of money to be like, okay, like, let's build yourself. Like, let's build your own value, your own net worth. Like, in terms of, like, your knowledge network. You know what I mean? And um, your things you have available to me. A nice ring light at home. A nice microphone. Um, you know, able to invest in, invest in nice clothes. Like, be able to pursue creative endeavors because I have the means for it. I'm not, and I don't say this because, like, I'm drowning in it because that's not the case at all. But, like, you know, I'm smart with my money. I know how to put, you know, what goes where kind of. And um, I know how to... Um, I don't know. I, it just is fun for me to be able to explore those things and also know that the quality of things I'm producing is great. And also something I, I'm thinking about is like, oh, do I want to get a fucking, do I want to get a, uh, 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 a, um, do I want to get a, a camera and start filming on a camera? I'm like, fuck that, dude. Like, this is the best. Um, but anyways, let's go. Okay eating healthy and protein-rich foods. I've cut out eating a lot of fast food. I, I'll have Chick-fil-A sometimes. Um, not to say Chick-fil-A is healthy, because I know they're all fucking bad for you. Um, but I have been cooking more. I've been buying groceries, air frying chicken, eat Trader Joe's, doing the fucking thing. Um, and uh, not, I'm not going to Starbucks and getting like my little, even though it was only like 100 calories, like I don't need all that sugar and also all that like fake zero calorie sugar. You know, I, I enjoy those things, you know what I mean? But I don't really drink a whole lot of diet soda these days. Um, I don't really ever, you know, if I do drink a juice, it'll be like a green juice when I'm breaking my fast. And I've been taking my health seriously in that in that regard in terms of what I put into my body. Um, obviously, I'm not perfect, and uh, I'd still get lazy, and I still will eat. They have fucking candy pop here, and I was just like, I had never tried that shit before. I had like fucking 20 bags the past couple. I was wilding that shit up. But, um, yeah, I, I'm making more of an effort, and that's what counts. And I know that um, it's a step in the right direction, so I'm going to pat myself on the back for it. You know, I'm not going to say, like, okay, it's okay to slip up, because I know where I want to be. But um, I'm just, I, I am going to acknowledge that, you know, it's been good, and it's going to get better, period. All right. Also, running. Okay, I haven't been running a lot. I don't really know why I'm capping in there. But, um, <laughs> um, no, I, no, I'm not. Uh, uh. I've been, like, kind of incorporating cardio. It's been, like, whatever, you know, so. But I I, I am. The, that does make me confident. I actually feel confident when I run, and I'm just, like, you know, because I feel like I'm actually doing something, you know what I mean? That that really, that pushes me more than, than lifting weights, you know, actually running. Um, and also, it's just great for um, my fitness goals, which are to really get cut and, and like, kind of shred in that sense. Okay, and also something that's made me feel confident is saying no to people. Saying no to people has made me feel confident because it, when I do that, you know, when I'm when I'm bearing the burden of not being liked by a friend or someone by saying no to something that I know is going to make them happy, I'm choosing myself and I'm making uh, and I'm uh, kind of pledging that time that I might be doing that activity with someone else. I'm pledging that time to myself and I'm saying no. I value my time doing more of what I want than, you know, making someone else happy. It doesn't mean that, you know, I'm out to get people. It just means that, like, saying no is making me feel empowered that what I'm doing with my time is valuable and I'm spending my time valuable and I'm valuing my time overall because, um, you know, I do have a, a wealth of time and I don't want to waste it. Um, and then also not going out has made me feel confident because I appreciate, um, you know, being scarce myself. I don't want to... I, I don't, I don't want to be that accessible. I don't want to be, you know, uh, I, I don't want to be where you can find everyone else. I want to kind of stay in my lane and do my thing because the more time I spend, you know what I mean? Eating the fruits of my labors, the less time I spend gardening and I need garden and gardening makes me feel confident. So with that being said, not going out has made me feel confident um, in doing that. And also, I don't really get FOMO. I'm, 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 I'm kind of done with having FOMO. I'm really like, I just prefer not to really just go out. I don't mean to sound like pretentious. I hope that doesn't sound. I mean, I'm sure people are going to take it like that. But I don't like, yeah, I feel good. Okay, next. Looking at the next quarter, what new developments, projects, 
or goals are giving you the greatest sense of excitement. So first is um, this uh, cartoons, this uh, clothing shit I'm doing with my buddy. That's giving me a lot of excitement because it's a creative endeavor. I get to go on with my buddy and on a much more legitimate route um, than what I'm doing right now. You know, I'll still have my own stuff, but also get to pursue this thing with somebody that I really trust their vision for it and really look forward to collaborating with this person and, um, and growing this thing also because it feels like even though it is like more clothing stuff, it's, um, a collaborative endeavor nonetheless. And, um, it's fun for me and I value this person's, um, you know, creativity. And I think that they have a lot to offer and also knowing that, We'll also have the funds, um, you know, from my own swag nightmare stuff to funnel into that, um, to funnel into doing that. So I'm kind of essentially doing it for free. Um, and, um, that's also fun for me and yeah, it's just cool. I'm excited for that. I think that's going to be fun and I get to do it for the love of it, not for the profits of it because, um, yeah, for that, just that being, that's what's fun. Okay. Next. Okay, this this product that I'm that I'm making right now that I'm uh, doing, um, I don't really want to talk about that. Um, but I do have like a a product that I'm about to start kind of running, and I, I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to be really cool, and um, blah, blah blah blah. But um, I'm excited for the, do something a little bit more, uh, uh, something separate, a type of business that is separate from clothing. And that is its own beast, but something that I'm very invested in myself and I think um, will apply to my audience. Um, so I think that's great. Um, and then also um, educating and monetize, monetizing um, through um, uh, personal coaching for social media. I want to get more into the, the social media um, educational space because I do have a really good understanding on it. And I know that that's money on the table where I can be educating people on this because I know that I know more than probably 85, 90 to 99% of the coaches currently on the internet who don't, haven't built personal followings, who haven't built personal brands where they can, you know, produce content like this and, you know, get the kind of numbers that I have. And I know that that's an area of specific knowledge that I have that I get kind of, that I know I excel in and I know that I can teach people how to do that. And in exchange, I can do value transfer or just monetary gain, which I think is going to be awesome. And I'm really excited about that. Um, and I just love, like, I hopped on a consulting call with this guy. He wanted me to uh, teach him about some social media stuff. And I hopped on the call for 30 minutes with this guy. And after that call, I was like, like, I know a lot about, this. like, I would just not shut, like, 30 minutes, I was just like, blah, 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 like, just like free, like, not free game. But like, I was just, it was just game. And I was like. Bitch, I fuck, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, okay, let's get my dick out of my mouth. Um, okay, next. Um, something else that is giving me, something else that I'm going to do that's giving me a great sense of excitement is um, training Muay Thai every day. Really getting into that, like, picking up a, a sport like that and, like, just getting good at fighting. I think it's cool. Um, and I just also look forward to the, to the physical um, aesthetic goals that I'll reach to incorporating cardio and that sort of training into my life and also picking up that skill. That, that, that does get me exciting, actually. That gets me very excited, taking that seriously, because I feel good when I do it. Um, and then also, I might be going to Asia. Um, I'm currently getting uh, scouted for um, some, not scouted, but I'm getting pushed for some, um, uh, or shopped around, I should say, for some um, going overseas. Um, in the beginning of next year to go model in somewhere in Asia. Like I currently have something in Korea that's available to me. Um, or, um, you know, we're stopping around just in other parts of Asia, like maybe Japan or something. And um, it'd be cool to go out there and, and, and model for a while and just like get influenced by that culture over there, especially with all this clothing stuff I'm doing with my YouTube. It does just go so well with like me just kind of upping and moving somewhere and just kind of doing the damn thing. Although something I'm thinking about is like, yeah, that would be great for modeling and I could build my book and all that stuff. But also I'm having so much fun with social media that if I want to do that, I kind of want to just do it on my own accord. And I kind of just want to not have to submit to um, doing all of this, like doing that and then modeling like nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. I'm like, 
why don't I just do it for the fun of it on myself? So that's something I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then also, oh, making these koala beanies um, like accessible. Um, so I had the, the koala beanie made and I think it's fucking cool. You know, I'm, I'm actually gonna grab it and show it to you guys. Give me five seconds. Let me get a little sip of coffee. Thanks so much for watching if you're watching this video. Um, but basically with this koala beanie, I just think it's so fucking cool and so many people are asking me about it. Um, and uh, you know, I want to make it available to, to a lot of people because uh, I know it's fucking cool. So, um, I don't, I wonder if you can still hear me. I think you can still hear me, but, um, yeah, this koala beanie is just fucking cool. And, uh, you know, actually figuring out how am I going to go about doing this thing? Because, you know, we're already, we're about to sell out of these.